As we celebrate our 20th anniversary year as the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium, it's an opportunity to look back on all we've accomplished in that time. We're here because a group of passionate citizens had a vision for a world-class museum here in Dubuque on the banks of the Mississippi River. It's through your support that we've welcomed 3.5 million visitors to campus in 20 years. And it's with your support that we can make this a one-of-a-kind facility, not just to tourists from all over, but to our own community. I feel um, very popular, kind of like Bruce, uh, Bruce Willis, and also like Michael Jackson. Because you go to the River Museum camp? Yeah. Okay. We get the texts from the school district every Friday, and so like he is a goer, so I like to keep him busy, so I just was looking to see what it was, and they, they had the summer camps listed in there. And when I went and looked into it further, it said, you know, for financial assistance. I found out it, about the camp, I was just like, <gasps> uh, let's go there. Since we discovered it, he's every year ended the school year, am I gonna go to River Museum camp this year? I hope so, yes. <laughs> I know I wouldn't be able to send him um, because of our financial situation and I don't know, I would feel really bad having to tell him no, he can't go. <laughs> so everything that, that everybody does as far as the donations and the scholarships is, is definitely appreciated. I get excited when the kids get excited and that's one of the reasons that I love working in education. Through your support last year, we were able to provide 29 summer camp scholarships to students like Thomas as well as programming at Title I elementary schools and St. Mark Youth Enrichment. We even offered programming at the Dubuque Summer Academy, providing youth in our community a way to engage with science and conservation hands-on the way only the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium can. My favorite part about working with youth is letting them experience nature in all of its glory without any kind of restrictions. We took a group of teens with the Multicultural Family Center out on the river with our big river canoes. Um, and some of these kids, this was their very first time on the Mississippi River. They've grown up next to it their entire lives, but this was their first time actually on it. We were able to get them out on the river and stop at a sandbar, and these boys were able to go into the river and find live muscles. I still think about it and it makes me smile every time I think about it because his their face just lit up and like wow I'm holding it <laughs> and it was amazing. <laughs> we want each member of this community to see the museum and aquarium as theirs a place that is accessible to them affordable to them to feel a part of our work and our mission to bring rivers and history to life. The museum and aquarium has a really unique opportunity to engage with a wide variety of audiences from school children to consumers at different disability accessibility facilities to come in and volunteer or just to visit for free through our Museums for All program. The best way to describe being an accessible facility is using a little bit of an analogy that I really like um, of equality versus equity. Equality is giving everybody a shoe. Equity is giving everyone a shoe that fits. And I think that in making these important changes to our visitor experience, to the physicality of our campus, and just better accommodating people overall, we're able to give everyone that shoe that fits them and give them the experience that will be meaningful and a long-lasting memory. We're able to conduct programming at places such as St. Mark Youth Enrichment to both reach out to them where they're at, but also to welcome them into our campus by field trip. Did you have a great time today at the River Museum? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I think that that's really special and really inspiring when we're able to see the wide variety of people that, that come to see us and know that we've made it possible for them to be here. With your support, kids in our community like Thomas can continue to attend camp and parents like Jamie will continue to receive the support they need. With your support, those served at St. Mark Youth Enrichment, Hills and Dales, Area Residential Care, and other human and social service organizations will receive access to campus and outreach programming. With your help, more is possible. With your help, more is possible. With your support, more is possible.